24-year-old Juanita Scoltz successfully defended her women's singles badminton title, becoming a back-to-back -back African Games champion at the competition which is currently underway in Accra, Ghana. She, however, has returned home. Juanita, who has been playing the sport for almost two decades, represents South Africa in the ladies' singles, the mixed doubles and mixed team events. And she's got her eyes set on qualifying for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Her latest gold medal will be just the warm-up that she wanted, or is it? She's got quite a busy year ahead. She joins us now via Zoom. A very good evening and welcome to News from Africa. Thanks so much for chatting to us. Congratulations on your title, uh, your African title once again. Thank you so much and thank you for having me tonight. So it's really been a busy year. You guys were actually just in Cairo for the, for the All Africa Team Championships. Yes, um, we competed there. Uh, for the teams, women, ladies on their own, men on their own, and then the individuals as well. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, that competition and how that led quite nicely into preparation for the African Games in Ghana, from which you've just returned? Okay, so the Egypt competition um, was part of the qualifying for Paris as well. Um, we, as the ladies team, actually won gold for the first time in 12 years. Um, and the individuals was quite a warm-up for Ghana and the results I was hoping for. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the competition in Ghana? Because uh, we know the Asian nations to be incredibly strong in the sports of badminton, but the North African nations are also really strong in the sport. What was the level of competition like in Ghana? So, um, previous years you had certain teams that always won. But this year was quite challenging because, like, you had five to six different teams competing for the same spot, and they all put up a fight quite toughly. So um, it wasn't easy from the first round all the way to the finals. And I must say, I'm quite satisfied of how everything has played out and the competition level, like, where it is at the moment. Uh, the last time that we had uh, somebody representing South Africa in the sport at the Olympic Games was 2016. I think that we only had one player. How confident are you that we're going to have a bigger badminton team representing the country this time around in Paris? So, um, obviously I'm trying to go for women singles, but we have a double pair, Amy Lawrence, for they want to qualify for women's doubles as well. Um, at the moment, it's just us three trying to qualify. The boys fell out quite early, but, um, yeah, we're quite hopeful. Just how difficult is it, um, you know, coming from the African continent in a game like badminton? Um, it is quite challenging because I don't think we get the exposure like Europe or Europe. But um, I would say we play each other constantly, and I think that's what pushes and drives us to do better and perform better and get to the level that um, the Asian countries or Europeans would be on. You're actually going to compete the ladies team at the BWF Thomason Uber Cup Finals in Chengdu, China in April. Uh, that must be one of the highlights of your year, other than obviously trying to qualify for the Olympic Games. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the preparation that's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks? So, um, we're the we feel really proud because obviously that was an easy test to go from. We did qualify and we did have a chance to go, but of course we find it better to draw and give Uganda the spot to go. But um, we're still training as hard, still trying to compete, still trying to get our levels up there for um, the future to come. How big is badminton in, in South Africa? Because you've been playing for, for many, many years. I, I, I assume that you, it was perhaps a, a family member, parents that uh, were incredibly passionate about the game, perhaps? Uh... So, um, badminton isn't a very big sport, but it's a growing sport at the moment. Um, I my playing squash. It was next to the badminton course. But, um, yes, my mom used to play in school, but never professionally. So, but I certainly got to drive on my own. <laughs> what is it about, about the sport that you love so much? I think it's just, like, the challenges. Like, it's not the same thing constantly. There's 
thirty six different shots in one corner of the court, and it's the same to a different corner. Um, the agility, the power, the speed, the endurance, like there's seven different elements coming together, and then um, suddenly you have to perform it all at once and I think that intrigues me quite a bit to do the sport so um, it's never boring. Uh, are you playing professionally? Are you on the global tour and are you able to make a living from the sport of badminton and if not how do you manage then to uh, fulfill all the other responsibilities that you have in life while still being able to play the game at the top level like you have? So I am indeed playing professionally. Um, at the moment it's purely for passion and a goal that I set myself 20 years ago. So um, I put most of my life personally on hold just to reach my goal, but um, it, badminton will never be the end of my life. Like I'd always be able to do it, even if I just have to coach or carry out my skills that I've been learning. But um, it's definitely a part of my life, and I think um, that, that leads to my professional side. So. Um, I don't always see the sport as it has to pay me, but I think it's just purely the love and passion for the sport that drives me. Lovely stuff. Well, congratulations on your achievements in Ghana, your achievement earlier this year, and all the best of luck on the road to Paris as you aim for the Olympic Games. Last time South Africa, Molly was at the Olympic Games for the sport of badminton, just one player, and that was in 2016. Now we've got three athletes that are trying to qualify.